It is time to retire and go back to Gatundu. Leave us the political space so that we can take charge and campaign for William Samoy Ruto. That has actually set the new tone in central Kenya in what is seen as a wide scheme to kick out President Uhuru Kenyatta from the succession politics. But then at the top of the mountain, things are falling apart because the regions are trying to regroup where are we going to get the running mate? Is it county of Kiambu, where the president has been, um, where the president is coming from, or it is an, a bit of another betrayal game to make sure that the running mate position do not go to Moranga? A highly charged rally in thicker stadium Sunday evening would then set the tone in what is seen as part of a wider scheme by Deputy President to say what he has really not been saying. Interestingly enough, what is at stake and why? What is the new strategy? Now, that is the politics of Sunday evening. The Deputy President was in Gachororo, Georgia. Kiambu County to attend a church service in full gospel, the churches of Kenya. Now, in that service, he was um, accompanied there by also Moses Kuria, and us seeing Moses Kuria finally joining that team. Then after that church service, or rather let me say during the church service, and while in the church, in really what is expected, he came out to castigate the President Uhuru Kenyatta for talking about sanity in the churches. And through that, he could be, he was in a position to sneak in the ICC matter. Now, why the rebirth of ICC? We are going to look at how this is something that is being sneaked in to wipe political emotions. Now, after the church, the team went directly to Thika Stadium. And while at Thika Stadium, the former Kiambu governor, Kabogo came in style and really in his own colors of Tujibebe party. Later on, we also saw Wamatangi joining that UDA side and really in a rare gesture saying that he was just in with the president to enjoy the cast and full security. Remember, he is the person that is the leader of, um, that is a whip also in the Senate, on the other side of Jubilee. So something is very interesting. Remember Wamatangi is a very, is, was one of the closest allies to President Uhuru Kenyatta. But then questions have been asked. He has been seen as a lightweight because he's eyeing the gubernatorial seat, going to battle it out with Kabogo, Nyoro, Moses Kuria, and Jungle. He is a latecomer and he's a lightweight. So why? Is he even getting to that race? Those are questions. Guys, I want us to look at the wider scheme by the DP, Dr. William Samui Ruto, to make sure that he kicks out Uhuru Kenyatta from Central. But one critical tool is the ICC. But before we look at that, if you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, I want to humbly request you to subscribe and also give this video a like your thumbs up will help in increasing the rating and i also want to say thank you for people who have been sharing many times i look at twitter i look at facebook continue sharing one let me say and let me ask a question if deputy president team have been saying that he enjoys 70 percent of the central kenya or let's go to kiambu if you already enjoy 70 percent so what do you think the kabogo and wamatangi and moses kuria are bringing are bringing there if it is not yeah if it is not just the mere politics of perceptions and for the optics are they bringing the numbers there if he's already if they if you're already told that he enjoys 70 percent of that percentage if you ask me it's just another element of confusion because if you look at all these three leaders, Moses Kuria, Kabogo, and Wamatangi, I don't think there is someone there who is willing to cede ground for the race for gubernatorial seat in Kiambu.
Okay, that is not why I was doing this analysis. Let me tell you why Kabogo and the uh, Kiambu politicians are actually trooping to UDA. When this is coming after Malala made a statement that it was time for the running mate to go to Musalem Davali. Now, what these fellas have realized, that was a wake-up call for them. And now they want to coalesce around deputy president. And when the time to choose the running mate, first they are going to increase the argument. They are going to increase their quorum in pushing for the running mate. Secondly, Kabogo is coming there to be another option on table. And another thing, when the Kiambu politicians merge around deputy president, they will make sure that that post do not go outside Kiambu. And why that is one of the reasons why they are there. So the likes of Rigadi, who is from Nyeri, and Alice Wahome and the and Ndidi the, Nyoro, these are the Moranga politicians, they do not have a chance. That is one of the reasons. Um, if you look at it also, these leaders are there to consolidate some relevance. They still want to tell Deputy President that if he wins, they will have an argument that we are the people that made you get what you wanted. So for me, they are latecomers, they don't have an influence, but they just want to ride on his popularity. First also to seek their respective seats. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in my own assessment, DP Ruto is laying a ground and trying to get a strategy to kick out Uhuru Kenyatta, specifically from Kiambu. First, Kiambu is the home to President Uhuru Kenyatta, and they know that Uhuru Kenyatta is a host, is a household name there. The name Uhuru Kenyatta is an institution, and that is why they went bare knuckle, even to the extent of attacking President's family. And even if they wanted the president to retire, because according to them, that is the most important thing. If president does not play an active role in politics, then they can easily have their way with deputy president. And through that, uh, if deputy president, Dr. William Samuel Ruto forms the next government, they're going to have a say. But so long as the president is still within the uh, circles of power, they believe that the, the, the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, will still have control on who is appointed where. And of course, you can't blame them for that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I feel that the DP is laying down the good strategy, a very elaborate strategy to kick out Uhuru Kenyatta. One is after realizing that Uhuru was now going there, and the narrative that DP was going to be, or rather is trying to be the kingpin of Central, I think technically he's now given, he has now hatched a strategy for someone from Central to emerge as the kingpin. I wanted to listen to speech by Kabogo, and this was shared with me, my good friend Patrick Mboro. Listen to what Kabogo said about the issue of kingpin. Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais Kuna watu wanatuambia Kuna watu wanatuambia ati hapa mlimani hakuna viongozi ati viongozi waletwe kutoka mahali ingine Mimi nataka nitangaze hapa na tutafanya kura ya maoni Wangapi wanasema mimi natosha kuongoza mlima So this will be another entrance and it will be seen as if now is going to get entrance through another kingpin instead of facing off directly with the president i think he's also choosing someone from central and specifically from uhuru's backyard that is kiambu to face off with president uhuru kenyatta now another strategy that is coming up here is they are setting the tone and it is a high-end tone against the president so that it can trap the other fence sitters. Actually, Dr. William Samoy Ruto wants to make sure that Uhuru Kenyatta becomes an enemy of the Mount Kenya community. 
and I feel this is going to backfire because the mountain is not united. The mountain is divided. So this cannot work. But this is what he's opting. And that is why the tone that the president have neglected us, have isolated the region, the president have betrayed them, the, the, the uh, DP and the other Central Kenyan piece that were removed from parliamentary com uh, committees, uh, to them, that is the tone that will trap the other fence setters. In fact, the rallying call is that President Huru Kenyatta wants to remain on power, want to cling on power, so that is why they have to get rid of him. Their trap is to make sure that the Mata Karua team and Jimmy Wanjigi, who have also been so um, vehemently uh, castigating the president on his active role in 2022 politics, can join up with them. Because they will actually say that the mission is to send Uhuru home. The mission to send Uhuru home is why they are setting that tone. Now, the punchline here is DP Ruto, third aspect, DP Ruto drew back the ICC conversation. And when he was addressing the church congregation, he mentioned that the president should not talk ill about the church because it is the church that prayed for them to be removed from ICC. Both me and you know very well that the ICC cases was not won in the pulpit, if they were won. But the fate of ICC cases was directly, they were directly involved in making sure that those cases do not see the light of the day. But then, hypocritically, this is a conversation he's bringing for three purposes. One, Dr. William Samuel Ruto wants to bring the sympathy. And the sympathy here is that we were, what brought us together, we were removed from ICC, we won the ICC cases, but it seems I'm still there. Remember, these cases are still going on. So people will still think that, look here, we need to vote for DP Ruto because if he doesn't become the president, we'll be back to where we were in 2013. I think that is something that he's trying to bring. Secondly, he's trying to enjoy himself to the church. And the reason why this has become a political tool for him is because he has known that when the president told off the church at Sagana 3, there emerged some churches that have now been dismissing the president's statement. And so, to enjoy himself as the church protector or the super god in this context, is to make sure that he tells the church how the church helped them to run the government or how the church have helped them in the past. So, and remember, this, the church was his entrance point in central Kenya. So that is something that he's, he's looking at uh, very critically. Lastly, Dr. William Samui Ruto wants to reignite the Kalenjin Kikuyu bond. Everyone else, every subscriber in this channel will keep on reminding you that the Central Kenya and, K and Kalenjin, if they merge, the terrain of numbers will be back and that is how he's going to win. And now Azubio is going to capture the swing areas mostly. You remember the Kisi is fully, a very big percentage is in Azubio. Even if William Ruto is going to pick beat in Central and the other parts, but he cannot take a bigger chunk than what Ryder can draw from those areas. Now, the best way is to revert back to factory setting. The factory setting here is to push for Kikuyu Kalenjin merger. That is deemed to backfire because the person who is the current kingpin or the current spokesperson by default to give a is President Huru Kenyatta. But then all this is being done to make sure that the votes are marshaled in that direction. Now, it is a test of time on how this is going to play out. Guys, let's meet in my next analysis. We are going to look at the UDA NDC.